Hey, this is Presh Talwalker reminding you to mind your decisions. Here's a problem from a previous video. Start out with a rectangle whose sides are 4 and 8. Draw a semicircle and then draw a diagonal of this rectangle. What's the area of this shape in red? I've solved for this in a previous video, and in this video, I'm going to ask for you to solve for a general formula in terms of r, where the rectangle has side lengths r and 2r, and r is the radius of the semicircle. I thank Tony Hasler for devising the solution method, which made me think of this general case. If you'd like to give the problem a try, pause the video right now, and when you're ready, keep watching the video for a solution. So how can we solve for the area of this red shape? In previous videos, here's the method I used. I said the red shape is equal to the area of this right triangle minus the area of this green shape minus the area of this purple shape. It's easy to solve for the areas of this right triangle and this green shape. But the area of this purple shape is a pretty involved calculation. It's not impossible, but there are just many steps. So rather than going through that method, I'm going to show you a solution from Tony Hasler that I think is really great. We start out with a coordinate system where the lower left corner is the origin. This point is r comma 0, this point is 0 comma r. The semicircle has this equation and the diagonal has an equation y is equal to x over 2. We'll now focus on this square. Let's find the coordinates of this point. In order to do that, we'll solve for the intersection of the semicircle and the line y is equal to x over 2. We'll do some algebra, and we'll end up with the quadratic equation. We can factor this equation, and we get two solutions. But we want the solution where x is between 0 and r. So the solution we want is x is equal to 2r over 5. Since y is equal to x over 2, this means y is equal to r over 5, and we figured out that this coordinate is 2r over 5 comma r over 5. Now, let's draw this line. This line is key to solving this problem. We can now solve for the area of this red shape as follows. It'll be the area of this blue triangle plus the area of this green right triangle minus the area of this circular sector. So we only need to solve for the areas of three shapes, and as we'll show, these will be pretty routine calculations. So let's get started with this blue triangle. In order to do that, we need to solve for the base of this blue triangle. So let's solve for the slope of this line so that we can figure out where it intersects the x-axis. Since this line passes through r comma r and this blue point we calculated, we can calculate its slope is equal to 4 thirds. Now we have the equation of a line will be y is equal to 4 thirds x plus some y intercept. We know that this line passes through the point r comma r, so we substitute in that point. We can then solve for b. We now want to know what happens when y is equal to 0. So we get the coordinate that x is equal to r over 4. And that'll be this point right here. We can now use this coordinate to figure out the area of this blue triangle. Its base will be r over 4, and its height will be r over 5, as you can see from the coordinates of the blue point. So the area of this triangle will be 1 half times its base times its height, and that simplifies to be r squared over 40. We now want the area of this green triangle. Well, we pretty much have each of its dimensions. We can calculate that its height is equal to r, because it goes from r comma 0 to r comma r, and we can calculate its base, which goes from r over 4 to r. So this will be 3r over 4. Its area will be 1 half its base times its height, which simplifies to be 3r squared over 8. Now for the next part, we'll need to know this angle theta right here. Notice this is a right triangle, and its base is 3r over 4, and its adjacent side is r. So theta will be equal to the inverse tangent of 3 fourths. 
We now need to solve for the area of this circular sector. The area of a circular sector is 1 half r squared times the angle of that sector. We know that the radius of this circular sector is r, so this area will be r squared over 2 multiplied by this central angle, which is the inverse tangent of 3 fourths. So we now have a simple equation for the area of this red shape. It'll be the sum of the areas of these two triangles minus the area of this circular sector. We just need to work through a little bit of algebra and simplify, and we get a simple formula. It's 2r squared over 5 minus r squared over 2 times the inverse tangent of 3 fourths. It might be a little easier to put it in this form if you want to put it on a calculator. It'll be r squared multiplied by the quantity 0.4 minus 0.5 times the inverse tangent of 0.75. And that's it. We figured out a general formula. Regardless of the value of r, we can always get the area of this red shape. Whether r is equal to 4, r is equal to 10, r is equal to 73, or r is equal to any value that you want. Incredible. It's really great when geometry works out so simply. I hope you enjoyed this problem. Thank you for making Mind Your Decisions one of the best channels on YouTube. Thanks for watching, and thanks for your support.